Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Heather and I make videos about drones, drone programming, and other cool things with drones. And so I am going to show you in this video some introductory programming activities that you can do with your Tello EDU drone and Scratch programming. But first, what I wanted to do was to invite you to listen to my Learning with Drones podcast, which is all about drone education, uh, programming with drones, drone business, everything you want to know about drones. And so you can find that podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, anywhere you listen to podcasts. And it's, again, it's called the Learning with Drones podcast. You can also go to learningwithdrones.com to find it right on my website. And then I also wanted to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get all the great updates that we have coming up in the future here with regards to drones, drone programming, and all cool things drones. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get my computer set up to program the Tello EDU drone. And so what you have to do is you have to follow about 10 different steps that I outlined in a blog post and another YouTube video that I will link in the description below that you need to go through first before you can start doing this activity. So if you want, you can go ahead and pause this video, head over to the other video, get your computer set up, and then come back over to this one and we'll get you going with Tello EDU and Scratch programming. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. I'll see you in a bit. All right, my computer is all set up to program my Tello EDU drone using Scratch. So um, what I'm gonna do is set up a couple of different controls um, or events so that um, I can actually communicate with the Tello EDU. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm always going to set up a takeoff and a land event, all right? So I click right here on the more blocks and I have all these different Tello controls that I can do. Takeoff, land, climb, descend, fly left, right, forward, and backwards, rotate clockwise and counterclockwise, otherwise known as yaw, and you can do uh, flips and you can set the speed. So you always wanna make sure with every program that you write with Scratch, or any program that you write um, for a drone, is that you always have a takeoff and the land function so that you don't essentially lose control of it when it's flying. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up the up, down, left, and right arrow keys on my keyboards. On my keyboard, so what I'm gonna do is say when the up arrow is pressed, I'm going to fly forward. And when the left arrow is pressed, I'm going to fly left. And then I'm going to go ahead and then add these for the right and down arrows. Okay, so I have my up, left, right, and down arrows configured. Now what you'll notice on the up arrow and the down arrow, I did fly forward and fly backwards, I did not do fly up and fly down. And the reason for that is because I'm going to do a C for climb, and it doesn't matter. This is just an easy way for me to remember. So I'm gonna say fly up, that is climb, C for climb. And then I'm going to do a D for descend. And that's just an easy way for me to remember. Okay, so I've got takeoff, land, fly forward, left, right, backward, climb, descend. Now we're gonna do another control for flips. So I'm gonna do an F for a flip. And then I'm also going to do one for yaw. Now with the Tello drone, you need to specify which direction you're going to yaw. So we're gonna do a, a clockwise yaw. I'm just gonna use the Y for yaw, and then I just have to come up with something for counterclockwise. And we'll maybe do W for counterclockwise. All right, so you can see how I've kind of organized these, so they're just easy for me to remember. Um, I got my arrow keys, C for climb, D for descend, F for flip, Y for yaw, W for a counterclockwise yaw. And so now what I can do is I can start executing these uh, commands and watch my Tello go. So let's head outside and try it out. All right, so we are ready here. We're going to hit the green flag to take off. 
And then we're going to press the up arrow for it to move closer to us. You can tell that the camera is right in the front so it's facing us. So we're going to move it a little closer so you can see the yaw. So I'm going to press a Y for a yaw. And then I'm going to press W for counterclockwise yaw. And then we're going to back up just a little bit here so we have some room. And then we're going to climb up. We're going to go to the left. And then to the right. And we take off. Go forward. You can see how it makes that jerking uh, motion when it's done executing the command. So we're going to go back, forward, we're going to do left, and then right, and then we'll do our flip, and we'll do another flip, why not? And then we'll do a yaw. All right, thank you for joining me in this quick tutorial on how to get started with TeloEDU drone programming using Scratch. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more drones, drone programming, drone business videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.